another episode of the Natural Bodybuilding Prep Series. Today's episode is how to pose like a bodybuilder. I'm here at Emporium Gym attending a seminar led by my coach, Adrian Gray. Like his posing is absolutely just top level, top tier. So there's no one else better to learn from. I'll take you guys in with me. You can learn a thing or two about posing. With shows and judging, you've got to understand what judges are looking for. Big shoulders, small waist. So every pose that you do, think about where your shoulders are, where your waist is, what shape are you showing to the judges. Because of that, you've got to make sure you are posing in a way that your waist is always small. And we do that by leverage and rotation. We'll start with the first pose, the front mandatory pose. Well done, gents. Hold that there. With that pose, make sure you're showing width across the shoulders, going down to the taper in the lats, down to the small waist, going out to the sweep of the quads, coming down to the floor. Following that, the judges will say quarter turn to the right. You're pushing your hamstring on your front leg with your quad at the back. You know, I'm Michael Jackson Moonwalker. Do a little lean forward so that when you bring the shoulder round, you're making width across here. You're bringing the elbow round, you're getting more width and you can slightly see the lat coming on this side. Good. Bring the hand in slightly to there, wrist straight there. In those poses, you can see you're making width across the top because from the judge's perspective, looking up, that width there is better than there so you're there and you're posturing up width on the lats you're not there you're there so from the side squeezing the hamstring squeezing the glute that's what the judges are looking at so everyone turn to the rear there's the elbows at the sides there you go that's better you don't want to contract the traps Maybe shoulders slightly forward. Okay, now bring this down. The next pose, front double bicep. The most important part of this pose is raising your chest because what you're trying to do is create the X-frame. Elbows, creating the width, small waist. Flow on the quads, going down to the floor. Feet 10 and two, and you're raising your chest. There. That is different to there because as I lean back slightly and raise the chest, I'm engaging the lats and I get more width. Whereas if I'm forward, I don't get it. Look where my arms are coming forward because what happens is a lot of guys don't show the tricep properly because the arm's here. So rotate it, show the tricep. Good. Have a tiny bit of space. There. We'll go to front lat spread now. Thumbs up, the bottom of the lats. And from here, all you're doing is pushing your elbows forward, elbows forward, elbows forward. Good. Squeezing the quads, always on the quads. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, now, side chest. You can do the side chest on any, any side you choose. You've got to realize that some guys will have one side better than the other. It just doesn't matter, it don't really matter. I normally turn my foot slightly away just about two degrees away. Then the instep goes in the arch of my foot. There, I go up on the calf. Do nothing with the hamstring. Allow the hamstring to drop. Squeeze the calf and come down, sit into it. Keep the shoulders straight, arm forward, hand where your watch would be. Bring it in and just twist. This shoulder is important because this is what's giving you width. With that pose as well, Squeeze the bicep. I've seen guys jump on stage and they're just holding their arm. Don't just hold your arm, squeeze the arm so the judge can see any split and detail. Condition is got to be shown to the judges, so show them. Bring your foot back a bit, close that gap. There you go. Drop the shoulder a little, keep the arm close there. Bring your arm back a little, but bring this one back a little. 
Bring this back. There you go. There. Lift, push your chest up. There. If you've got the mobility and you've got the shoulder width, you can do the normal conventional side tricep. Squeeze the calf, allow the hamstring to drop. Different grips on the wrist. Some guys can go here, like me. Some guys grab the thumb. Some guys push down. Some guys even pull the finger just to squeeze it. It just depends what you find the best for you. You've got to think about, can I hold my finger or hold my wrist or whatever it is and get that rotation round and get the shoulders big coming down to my waist. So I go there, there. Get your footing in position and see what you find easiest. Because some guys even hold their wrist and I am not that flexible. <laughs> Back double bicep, we've got to show the X-frame, show width and detail. Different hand movements and positioning makes detail. All that detail, when you're training on a back double bicep, you see it. Don't have your feet too far apart. It messes up your shape and your frame, and you're not even stable. Squeezing the hamstrings and glutes, arms up there. You want to slightly lean back, not back like that. Just from there, just to there. Elbows forward. Elbows forward. There. Good. We've got the majority of guys, for the most muscular, you can do feet, 10 and 2. Hide the thumbs. Lift in the chest. Don't go like this because sometimes you do that and you lose the abs. Lift the chest. Blow the abs and squeeze your arms. So you're going 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, relax. You've got to realize that judging is based on muscularity, shape, symmetry, and condition. The worst thing you can see is a guy go on stage and he ain't squeezing nothing. There are guys that go on stage and they stand there like this, Quarter turn to your right. And it looks lazy. As soon as the judge gets the idea you're being lazy, it's not good. The judge has got to see you going up there and working. He's got to outwork the guy that's next to you. If a guy's amazing, but he doesn't work for it, the guy next to him might just be a tiny bit off. He can beat him, and that's the difference. The more preparation you do, the easier it becomes. My job is to prepare you so that when you go on stage, it's easy. So posing is the last worry you have. Practice when you're not working with your coach or me. Practice at home. Practice after training. Practice a little bit in the morning. As you get closer to show, the extra squeezing improves your condition. It just improves like your memory. You want to go on stage, it just be muscle memory. Quarter turn to the right, yeah, 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 I'm nice. Quarter turn to the rear, yeah, I'm nice. And it'd be like that. So that's the pose he said now wrapped up now with Adrian. I hope you guys found that very fun too. Like there was a lot of tips and a lot of gems there. His pose is immaculate and there's no better person to learn from. He is Sunday, he's actually checking there as well. So I'm gonna quickly check in with him. And I'll also film it so that you guys can see how I'm looking this many weeks in and this many weeks out. Training legs yesterday by the way, so don't come here excuse just so you know. seminar and check-in done with my coach a lot of information there i will put 
Adrian's detail on the screen. So a quick update on prep. Everything's been going great, been going good. But I will say, if I'm honest, last week was probably the hardest week for me. Not in terms of like training or diet or anything else in particular, just because I was really busy that week and like had a lot of things going on. And as you know, when you're, you're really busy and stressed out, it can kind of interrupt with your organization and time management. It kind of slipped up with that last week. So like my meals on a daily basis were all over the place. I was getting an average of like five, six hours of sleep, which you know on prep isn't actually ideal. I feel like that's kind of reflected in my physique. When I am like stressed out or doing a lot of things and not sleeping well, like my body does tend to retain a lot of water, which is obviously normal. So going forward, make a conscious effort of putting sleep first, because I really feel like sleep is one of the most overlooked aspects. People just think, oh, it's just, it's just sleep. But I think it's one of the most important things. But apart from that, everything's been pretty much sound. I'm gonna get going now, get a pre-workout meal, and train today's shoulders and triceps. Stay tuned. So pre-workout meal before training, we have 200 grams of chicken breast, 225 grams of sweet potato, and four asparagus. And of course, can't forget the skinny, virtually zero calorie sauce. If there's one thing that I have to have is decent sauce. I don't care if I have to eat cardboard this prep, just give me a good sauce and I'm good to go. However, I'm going to crack on with this meal, let it digest for about 90 minutes to two hours, and then I'll meet you guys at the gym, get some shoulders and triceps. So, shoulder workout going down today at the base, Wild's gym. I'm a bit knackered from today's posing session, you know, that hour session of tensing your muscles. If you haven't posed before, trust me, it's a different level of energy. No excuses, got the pre-workout ready, optimal nutrition gold standing, logbook at the ready. Let's shift some weight today, man. That actually doesn't taste that bad. What flavours? What flavours? Watermelon. So it actually tastes like watermelon. By of course, optimum nutrition. This is the pear drops flavor. Tastes absolutely banging on prep. The code will be on the description and it will be the first link in the description below. That nine. Absolutely. That wasn't pathetic. That's just me, me being in the mind frame of just that I have to get into when training. Like good weight, good reps, but it's just because I demand such a high level of myself in training that like I can't let anything slip. But yeah, it wasn't pathetic. It's just how I talk to myself and suck myself up. But I can understand why other people will probably be like. What the hell is he talking about? I feel like sometimes when you train, sometimes you have to tap into that. Some might say it's an alter ego, but you can't come into training having a normal mindset that you have on a day to day basis outside the gym. Like, you've got a switch on, you turn into a beast, man. That's the only way you're going to reach your full potential. And I can't be getting this far. I, I won't change it. That's just the way I am when it comes to training. Easy. Too easy. Up, easy. Straight up, straight up, easy. Straight up. Up, easy. 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 Big deep breath and bang the rest out, bro. Up, 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 up. And again, and again, up. Ah. 
What was that? Nine. Okay. Yeah. Still strong now, you know what? 8 kg down. I'll take that, you know. Not bad. 18 reps. High standards of the cameraman again, but you know what? That's, that's how we got to the stage anyway, so. All good, man. Easy. 11. 12. Come on. 13. Come on. 14. 15. Come on. 16. Come on. Come on. Three more. Come on. Come on. Two Easy. More. Two more. Two more. Easy. Two more. Up. 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 One more. One more. One more. Push. 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 Yo. Always do 20 minutes on 50s. I finish up. It was, it was meant to be 20, but 18, I'll take that. I reps. I don't do we get down. I pulled him up. We we're still doing a video on. It was meant to be June, but he said June, but you know. All right, listen. You know, you, you know, you know how these All cats right. be. But, you I, know. I, I, I've rocked for about a week, yeah, so 8th of, of July. He said, he said, he said new date, July, first eight days of July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pull up on him <laughs> and we're gonna get this arm workout in. And listen, we're gonna see what I got. I'm not strong yet, but my ball's perfect. Listen, we're gonna do biceps, triceps, yeah? We get the triceps and realize I'm a god. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not quitting, put it that way. Right, keep going. 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 Workout wrapped up, shoulder workout. Eight weeks out this Sunday. Big shout out to Adrian today, my coach. Hope you guys have learned and took down some notes from today's posing seminar this morning. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe as it helps with your channel's engagement and grows the channel. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of this prep series.